industry for 35 years. It's been a billboard, pretty much. Suddenly, they had the development of digital boards, boards that are like TV screens in the sky with all kinds of bells and whistles of being able to change your message in real time and engage with drivers, yeah. with drawing them to your website. So the complexity now of what these account executives are selling is very, very different. More importantly, they have to realize that the only reason that they're coming in with a very strong, solid story based on research that they've done is to actually engage the customer in the conversation. It's not that they have a, a perfect solution or that they're trying to sell the idea that they've prepared. Like a good jazz musician, the only reason why that they've done all that homework and taken all that time and come up with imperfect ideas is so that they can actually have a conversation. That's when they know that they've, they've basically succeeded. So this goes back to that idea of are you eliciting, the only reason to tell a story is to elicit others, to engage them in their own sense-making process so that they become consumed and they become part of an emergent, emergent solution as opposed to passively waiting for it to be delivered. So if you think of the manager who's constantly working in white water and in change, I think the greatest fear that any of us have is stepping into a room and not knowing what's going to hit you. We all don't want to be caught off guard. All of us want to feel a sense of competency at our job, and, and we recognize that a traditional management and control sort of model um, has uh, been prevalent in how we go about doing our jobs. So today, tomorrow's manager needs to feel comfortable in eliciting the genuine experiences of others. Think of, I asked people if there was anything outstanding and why didn't I hear anything? And uh, unfortunately, we don't um, make the room or space or, or time for that. So the manager that's able to, with authenticity, um, make a genuine space of inquiry and by doing that, they want to work in the rich space of story. If I just tell you, ask you, just give me the facts. I want to know what happened. Give me the facts. You're not going to end up with something that has lots of other la levels of information, uh, lots of levels of richness. You're more importantly also going to likely ostracize others from getting into the conversation. When you hear someone's story, you're reliving it. And as you relive it, it's stirring up the pot for you. When this pot gets stirred, and if I feel that I'm trusted and I'm going to be heard, I'm now going to come forward with my own narrative, with my own story that's going to be rich in emotional detail, political detail, history, context, subtext, and all of those things that really make it possible for a solution. Your style as a storyteller is absolutely unimportant. It's about having the right story at the right time. And that's not so much from a content perspective. That's from a space of self. It's a space of rhythmically knowing in the conversation what needs to be shared so that there can be some true vulnerability, some authenticity. It's the right spice at the right time. So as a teller, I think the most important thing that you can do is to become more aware of your own stories, to realize that you have a treasure chest of experiences. Every person you look at, particularly in a corporate setting, whether or not you like them or not, whether you even think that you'd want to go out and have a drink with them or not, has years and years of, of experiences. And that is fertile ground. That's like being able to craft with uh, a fabricator machine that can create a virtual reality that, that can allow people to connect and learn in ways that they've never seen before. So you story for pulling others into a space of story, not because your story has the... I've spent a lot of time, obviously, working in this space and have designed a number of things that I think can be very, very helpful in developing these skills and these competencies. And the good news is we're all innate storytellers and story in this fullest sense of the word, not just as speakers and tellers of stories. How do they get a hold of you? Makingstories.net.